Hey guys, what's up? It's Cyphlin here, and welcome to episode 17 of Warframe Playing Like a Pro. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Amprex. Okay, so we're finally actually moving on to really good weapons. So the Amprex is probably one of my favorite weapons in the game, simply because it can kill a lot of things really fast. Now, this weapon has a nice split between crit chance and status chance, but you want to be modding for crit because that's just how you're going to get the most damage. You can get over 100% crit, so there's no reason not to mod for crit. 4.4 uh, times multiplier, which is pretty good. So it's basically a crit build with uh, blade at rounds on it, and that's how you're going to maximize your DPS. Obviously, if you want even more DPS, you can throw on something like a Prime Bane of Grenier mod because that's going to give you more DPS over having blade at rounds on. So it's pretty good. Um, so I want to show you guys this versus, so let's see, we got a radiation build. We'll go with a corrosive build to begin with, and we'll go against level 130, a butcher, and a heavy gunner, right? So that way, well, no, we don't need to go against the butcher and the heavy gunner because we have Prime Bane of Grenier on, but we'll throw on our, um, our corrosive build to begin with and kill a heavy gunner with the Prime Bane of Grenier mod on. Now, I don't think I can do a corrupted heavy gunner simply because uh, it doesn't take effect... Uh, on these guys because obviously there are different factions so hopefully I actually have the regular heavy gunner scanned if not then I'll guess I'll just do the radiation versus a bombard nope I don't so I'll just do a radiation build versus a bombard wow what, what a shit on my plans I, I, I didn't scan so let's go ahead and put on a radiation build here we go there we are so we'll spawn on a regular bombard and put this guy to level one, and, or not level one, spawn on one of them. Level 130. There we go. Press the button. There we go. That's better. We actually hit the button. Okay, I don't have my heads up display on. This video is going great today, guys. Like, I, I just logged on and I was like, oh yeah, let's let's record a video. And then I'll go back to playing whatever game. Ah, oh, for fuck. Really? Really? <laughs> okay. You know what, I'll, I'll keep this in. I, I'll keep this in. I can't be asked to, to, <laughs> to start the recording process. Okay, now I have to go spot him again. This is such a bad episode. It's so bad. So bad. Okay, let's spot him in. Okay, there we go. This is better. Now, let's kill the Bombard. So this is how fast he dies. This is level 130. Now, it's really up to you whether you think this is a sortie weapon or not. Personally, I wouldn't use this in sorties, but what I would use this in is something like an invasion, uh, you know, just like an exterminate invasion or a um, uh, da -da 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 -da. capture. Capture. There we go. Why did I say da -da 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 -da? I don't know. This is such a weird episode. And my my earphone is falling out of my ear right now. This is this is terrible. But I'll show you guys a corrosive build versus the butchers, right? Because Butchers aren't the most threatening enemies in the game, but if you were doing a story where there's like a level 130 enemies, right? So let's say, for example, uh, there was 20 Butchers, they're all on level 130, and the sortie was in the void. I have to spawn them in again because they didn't swap out my build. But the sortie was in the void, and you had a bunch of these guys running at you. Which weapon would you whip out? Your Amprex, your Marlock, or your melee weapon? Most people would say, I don't know, melee weapon? It just really depends on what build you have on, right? But... This weapon is meant for clearing a lot of enemies out at the one time with like a few um, pulls of the trigger, right? So if I can find my infected clip, there we go. So we got our uh, corrosive in and now we're going to get our bladed rounds for that on. Go spawn in these pictures. 20 off them, let's go. Now what we'll do is we'll steal them because why not? There we go. For some reason they fling away. Look how fast these guys drop. Level 130, you know? So they die pretty quickly. Obviously, they're not the hardest enemies in the game to kill. I realize that. But, you know, it's the concept of being able to kill multiple of these enemies super fast, you know? Because, look, I, I'll de tell half of that guy's uh, health damage to him by just shooting the other enemy because it chains. It chains to one another. Look, that guy barely has any HP and we haven't aimed at him yet. Same thing goes with this guy. He got, took a little bit of HP out of him. You know, so it chains to each of the enemies, and obviously you're going to be getting more damage with your blade at rounds, because blade at rounds is a pretty good weapon, or a pretty good mod. This is a terrible episode to play like a pro. This is like one of the best weapons, but this is a terrible episode. I messed up so much so far. So, yeah, it's a pretty good weapon, that's all I'm going to say. Uh, it's, it's a really good weapon, that's all I'm going to say. 
you know. So you just want to basically copy this build, right? So the mods that are going to stay consistent on this build are Split Chamber, Heavy Caliber, Serration, Vital Sense, and Point Strike. And also your Blade Out Rounds, unless you have maxed out versions of the Primed Bane mods. Don't use the regular ones, only the Primed ones. And you have to make sure that they're maxed out. Otherwise, you're going to get more DPS from Blade Out Rounds in that scenario. Obviously, there is no Corrupted or Bane of Corrupted. So you have to use Blade Out Rounds in the Void regardless. But in terms of trying to kill Infested, Corpus, Grenier, as long as you have one of those Prime mods on, you're going to get more DPS out of those than you would with uh, Blade at Rounds. So, you know, just do as you please there. So, I want to show you guys how fast it can kill the uh, the other enemies as well. Obviously, I have to max out my Prime Cryo Rounds. So, whenever I go to my Corpus build, make sure you have maxed out Prime Cryo Rounds and throw that there on, because that'll give you a massive DPS boost. I have, well, not a massive DPS boost, but it'll be a DPS boost nonetheless. Uh, I haven't maxed this out yet, so that's why I'm not going to be throwing it on. But this is versus the Corpus, so I'll spawn in like some Corpus tech or something, level 130. And we'll go ahead and kill them. Like it, it, This weapon basically just rips through uh, level 130 enemies, so there's no reason to sort of, sort of show you guys uh, anything below that. Obviously, you'll, you'll kill like uh, your... Did I spawn someone on the side there? Yeah, I did. Okay. So obviously, you know... Okay. That guy wasn't in the catch. This is a great episode, guys. Hit like if you're enjoying this episode of me dying over and over and over again. Why were they so split up? I don't understand. This is so weird. Now, let's just spam these everywhere. So let's start killing the enemies now. So yeah, these guys die pretty fast. You know, you might kill them a little bit quicker if they're a lower level. So I'd say maybe the f uh, the second sortie and raid should begin the one-hit enemies here. Or that's how fast you'd one-hit enemies. So, there we go, you know, they just, they just, it just zaps their health away. So if you're running free, let's say you're Ember, and you are running free a mission, or you're Vob, and you're just spamming your Bastilles, you just be able to, like, look at a few enemies, and then hold the, it's basically the lazy weapon, right? You're just able to hold your trigger, kill them all, easy peasy, rest in peace corpus. Obviously, it's not like a DPS cannon, right? It's not a DPS cannon. But it kills things pretty quick. That's all I'm going to say. I, I must have said that phrase like a, a couple times this video. So last but not least, let's go on to our being off infested. Where is that? Where is that? At? There we go. So this is also a pretty good mod. I recommend. And we're going to spawn in our ancient healers and spawn in 10 of them. Hopefully they're not split up. And uh, yeah, let's just go kill, kill some Squidwards. Right? So yeah. These die. These guys die really fast. This is probably like one of the best factions to like use it against because no armor, no shield, nothing to like get in the way of your damage. So pretty good, pretty good weapon. I recommend ten out of ten. Well, maybe not ten out of ten because there's other things. It could have IPS. It could have uh, like a really high status chance. It's not ten out of ten. I would say. Let's say E out of 10, and the reason reason I give it E out of 10 is because it'll run out of ammo fast, and it doesn't have any IPS uh, stats to it. Where some people might see IPS stats as a negative, I see it more of a positive because I like my my impact puncher slash. Okay, don't 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 hate on me for that. So yeah, E out of 10 for the Amprex, pretty good. You guys recommended in the comments section saying you give us like a rating of weapons. I want to give this a E out of 10. And, uh, yeah, I like it. It's pretty good. It's my lazy weapon. It's my go-to whenever I'm running invasions with my World on Fire Ember. Uh, I use this here over the Ignis, even though the Ignis might be a little better choice versus lower levels. Um, but for higher level content, I use my Amprex because it's just a little bit more better. It's just a little bit more better. It's just a little better. So, yeah, that's why I choose the Amprex over the uh, Ignis. And just to give you guys an example of what I mean by World on Fire... Uh, that is my other ember. Where's my proper ember at? Here it is. I don't know why the level zero one is at the bottom, but basically all I do is I go ahead, spawn in the ancient healers, go up to them, press four, and it starts to damage them. They fall over, implying I'm not using my crowd control build, and then they get one shot by one of their hicks. So this has been a great video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. As much as I enjoyed making it, dying over and over and over again, and not having to restart the recording because, yeah, I have a limited time window to make this recording because, like I said, it's uh, 
well, no, I didn't say this, it's, it's currently 20 past 5 right now, and this video needs to be up in 40 minutes, so, yeah. It's great. My embers infected. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button below. Uh, 6 p.m. UK time tomorrow. Subscribe for more Warframe content. I'll see you guys next time.